Okay guys, so here's day one in the CKC Garage operating room. We got Project Green Machine all taken apart. We have ran the wiring for the lights. What we ended up doing was eagle eyes and the headlights. We want some uh, flat LED discs in the turn signal indicators or running lights, whatever you want to call them. And then we put this big old night light uh, light bar on there. We've got some side markers. And then in the back, we've got some low profile uh, red eagle eyes for the tail lights. And as you can see, we got all of the uh, green side panels off, ready to heat gun the uh, stickers off and then scuff it with a Scotch Bright and heat gun to get them back to the green, factory green. Uh, so we ended up doing two separate switches. That one's for the headlights and running lights. Bam! Side markers, this is fully lit. There's a light right above us and tail lights. And then the other switch is for that perfectly sized light bar. Uh, if you guys are interested in doing these mods for your kids, I'll put the links to the Amazon uh, link in the description of this video. And next is going to be onto battery tray modification, welding, sparks flying type stuff. So check it out. So here's the latest that's going on underneath guys. I'm gonna show you this first. This is the steering mod that we do on these gators, especially with this tandem axle. It's not gonna to wanna to steer. So this is the gator steering setup. As you can see, it looks a little bit different, right? So what we do is we take a Dremel and we elongate the steering stops. And here it is underneath so you guys can see, you actually have to remove that whole tab and it allows the front wheel to st steer more. Um, it, it's not too hard to do, but it just takes some time and it creates a t much tighter uh, steering turn radius. Okay, so here's the electronics that so you can see underneath. We'll do that real quick since we got it up on its uh, exposed belly. So here we've got our ABS, kind of coast, kind of different transmission switch we'll talk about later. Here is the 40 amp breaker and the fuse, I'm sorry, and the uh, charge port. See all those right there. And this goes over to the rear belly area. So we knew we were gonna put the, the batteries under here because there's a giant void. The batteries were a little bit taller than we thought. So um, this is our original plan was we were gonna use this one inch angle iron and use that on the sides right here. But because the battery doesn't fit all the way up in there, we just had to swap that out for a two inch. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna weld that up. It's a really simple rectangle, guys, really. So we got two one inch angle irons there and we've got our cross ones that we're just going to drill and bolt with quarter 20 bolts, four of them. Uh, we'll get this sandblasted. Well, actually we're gonna get it welded up, sandblasted and painted and then we'll install the battery so that this thing will actually move. So here's the battery tray mocked up on the welding table. As you can see, we've got it all, got uh, magnets holding it in place, and we mocked it up with the batteries with a little bit of a thin piece of cardboard for a spacer, because we don't want that to be obviously jam-packed tight. So uh, there it is, guys. That's what it looks like. It's a simple rectangle. We're gonna go ahead and um, tack weld this up. As you can see we left a little bit of a space at each end because that's where the body is going to slide up into. Uh, so we're going to tack this up and do a dry fit.
Okay, so here's the battery tray, all welded up. We just got it sandblasted, did a dry fit, and uh, getting ready to go prime and paint it. So this is what it looks like. So basically, it's got its mounting holes. We're gonna drill that through the, the tub. And we've got double the amp hour capacity, so double the runtime. Okay, so now that we've got the electrical done, we've got the mechanical welding of the battery relocation, now is to cosmetics. We've got these side panels for the bed, and they are in bad shape. You guys can see it's got some pretty good scuffing on there. So first what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna use some Scotch-Brite, see if we can get that smoothed out, and then we're gonna take the heat gun over that and see what that does. If that doesn't work, we've got um, random orbital sander here with um, 320 we'll try next and then 220. And after we get these stickers off, we're gonna see what we can make them look like. Worst case scenario, we're gonna have to go buy some John Deere green paint. So let's get these stickers off. One down. Yep. All right, we got all the stickers off. Let's first start with maybe getting off some of the little residue that where the sticker peeled up in the past. We're probably gonna grab uh, some goof off. All right, we got some goof off super glue remover. Let's give that a try. All right, go big or go home. Seems to be working. All right, all of ah, nope, there still is some glue. We definitely don't want to start sanding on this and bed that into it, so you got to get all the glue and backing off. All right, so we got all the glue off. Let's try the old Scotch Brite. Well, that was the mildest option. Let's see what happens when we put the heat gun to it. Well guys, what do you think? Is it worth trying? Or should we just sand it and paint it? I think we're just gonna sand it and paint it. Try the 320. Well, definitely got the scratches out. Let's try to see what the heat gun does. All 
I don't like it. I'm worried that it's going to deform it. I don't think it's worth it. I think we should just scuff it, degrease it, and paint it. Same goes for these. All right, I guess off to the tractor supply store. So one of the things we've used as a little trick to get the sun fade out of this is uh, we use Armor All protectant and we've already went over it. We're still having some uh, oxidation issues. I wish I would have videoed it before and after because we already wiped this down, but it's still a little bit white. And I stopped, I said, hey, let's do a video. So this is part of it that we've done. And then I stopped and that's where I want to show you guys uh, how we do this. So it's a very fine line. You've got to um, know exactly when to keep moving with your heat gun. So we're just going to use this uh, heat gun here. And as soon as it starts to get glossy, you've got to move on. So yeah, you heat it up guys and it brings out the oils and then I go over it with uh, some of that vinyl protectant. It doesn't bring it back to 100%, but it sure the heck looks a lot better than it used to. The more applications you put of this vinyl, it, it absorbs down in there and it gets rid of a lot of the white oxidation. All right, guys, so we got this thing about restored back to where we are really happy with it. We started off by adding the lights and then we did the battery upgrade with the battery tray down low in the back. And then uh, we went through and we restored the plastic. So this, believe it or not, was almost white. We took the heat gun to it. That took really well. We did the brush guard. We are still waiting on a new battery tray. We're not even gonna try to save that but so we bought a brand new one of those we put brand new hubcaps all the way around um, we're not going to mess with these uh, little armrests we wiped down everything with armor all and uh, the bed was so full of bird poop and stuff we used just some good old simple green let it soak in scrubbed it off and then we wiped everything down with armor all and anything that was still oxidized as far as the panels in the back and the sides they were too far gone they were so oxidized and brittle we sanded them down and then we used some good old ace uh, john deere green gloss and then if you remember the steering wheel it had that glitter glue stuff all over it instead of buying a new one we sandblasted it and then we coated it in this uh, truck bed coating and we're really happy with it uh, it gives it a nice kind of like leathery uh, feel to it almost. Turned out really good. We're waiting on the uh, steering wheel cap to dry in the paint booth. We went and did that green. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. This was a fun project. And if you guys find one of these, snatch it up because they are super cool.